على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فلولا كانت قرية آمنت فنفعها إيمانها إلا قوم يونس إلا قوم يونس لما آمنوا كشفنا عنهم عذاب الخزي في الحياة الدنيا ومتعناهم إلى حين صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين فلولا كانت قرية آمنت فنفعها إيمانها إلا قوم يونس so how is it that there never was a town which could have believed and its belief would have been of benefit to it illa qawm yunus except the people of yunus lamma amanu when they came to believe kashafna anhum adab al khizi fil hayat al dunya wa matta'nahum ila hin we removed from them the punishment of humiliation in the worldly life and let them enjoy themselves for some time So in the previous ayat, the ayat that we read before it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about Sayyidina Musa ala nabina alayhi salatu was salam, Bani Israel and how the Fir'aun was in their pursuit and when he was about to drown, he tried to bring faith. But as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam has told us that bringing faith is only helpful until the gharghara or the exit of the soul from the body does not start. Once that starts, then Tawbah, asking for repentance, bringing faith, saying La ilaha illallah, if somebody is a kafir, it does not help them. Similarly, if somebody is a mu'min and they say something that is against their iman, even that is not considered valuable, they are considered a mu'min. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that why is it that there never was a town that would repent and bring faith? So the story except the people of Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu was salam so this is an address to the people who were giving a lie to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that why is it that people don't bring faith until they see the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are ruined by it the punishment annihilates them the punishment comes and gets them except the example of the people of Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu was salam the story of the people of Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu was salam is that they, when Sayyidina Yunus was calling them, they said, they gathered them again among themselves and said that we have never seen this person lie. But it is hard, it was hard for them to leave what they were doing and bring faith in Allah. Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu was salam, he had warned them about the punishment or azab from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they said that we are going to wait and we are going to see if we see any signs of that punishment coming, we're going to bring faith. So they waited for the night. And that night, Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu was salam was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to leave the town because the punishment was going to come. So Sayyidina Yunus, under the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi salam, he left that town and he went outside. And these people could see the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come to them and Abdullah had Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anh has narrated that the punishment had come to them and covered them like the night covers people. But when they saw this punishment coming, they started to repent. They came outside of their houses and started to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The whole environment became alive with their words of tawbah, with their words of repentance. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the punishment away. And this is the way of the punishment of Allah, the, the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is mentioned about Bani Israel as well, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at one point as a sort of, as a, sort, as, a, as a way of punishment, lifted the mount, tore upon them and told them to hold the book firmly. And they did so. They repented, so the punishment was taken away. So the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even when the people see the signs of it, even at that point if they repent, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the punishment, the azab away. So this is what these people did. Now from this ayah, it is written in, tafa in this tafsir and many tafasir, all in fact all the famous tafasir of Islam. It is written that if somebody from this ayah believes 
that Na'uzu Billah, Allah made an exception for the people of Had Yunus Ala Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam. And one Mufassir in particular has gone so far in his deranged attitude, in his deranged explanation, that he said that Na'uzu Billah, Sayyidina Yunus Ala Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam had made a mistake. So therefore, Allah had to make an exception for those people. Na'uzu Billah, in his words, and his name is Abu Ala Maududi, he's a famous Mufassir. He has gone so far to say that the Prophet Yunus actually did not listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or went against the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and left the people before Allah allowed him or did not fulfill his responsibility of delivering the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore when the punishment started to come Allah had to make an exception Na'uzu billah Hashahu wa kallah all the prophets are free of all mistakes this is what happens when people start to do tafsir with their own thought with their own understanding without learning it from the authentic ulama so anyway Imam Tibri Tabri Imam uh, uh, Qurtubi Hazrat Muhammad, Mufti Muhammad Shafi he's of, of a later time all the big Mufassirin they have said that this is not the case the case was that these people made, made Tawbah as they saw the signs of punishment and whenever somebody makes Tawbah when they see the signs of punishment and their death has not started their punishment is lifted away and their repentance is accepted so <clears throat> this is what happened in reality and this has been quoted by Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Masood as well that the punishment had come to them but when they saw the signs they made tawbah and the punishment was lifted away so there was no particular exception made for them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change his words Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change his principle the principle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows people time until their death starts the process of death when it starts then bringing faith or doing repentance does not mean anything And then what happened was that Sayyidina Yunus he was outside of that, that town and he saw that the punishment came and went away. So then it is written in Tafasir that Sayyidina Yunus the way of those people was that whoever lied they would take his life, they would kill him. So Sayyidina Yunus did not know that Allah has taken away the punishment because of their repentance. He only saw the signs of punishment come and go away. So he said that if I go back in that town, people are going to consider me a liar and take my life. So he started on a journey even further away from that land. He waited for a boat to come and the people of the boat, as the story goes, they, they, they recognized him and they said they respected him and they said that let's come on our boat free of charge. They gave him a ride free of charge but right in the center of the, the sea or whatever they were crossing, the boat stopped. And then those people who were running the boat, they said that the boat, the way of our boat is such that it, if there is a sinner among us, this boat does not move forward. So Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi wasalam, said, because he was a Nabi, he said that I am that sinner. Because he was thinking, a Nabi can never be a sinner. But we have to understand that a Nabi is looking from his own angle. That the only thing that he did he was looking at himself that he left without an express command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He had come out of the city on, based on the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But leaving that city and going even further, take a boat and go to a different area. He thought that I have started doing this without the command, without express command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he thought of himself as a sinner. He thought of that action as a sin. And therefore, they kept on drawing the lot and every time his name came. So then he said that throw me in the water because I am that person because of whom your boat is not moving forward and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had asked a fish to be ready with its mouth open and as soon as he was thrown into the water that fish swallowed Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, and took him and took him to different places uh, and, and he remained safe in the belly of that fish but that was, a le that was uh, Sayyidina Yunus ala Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, going through a phase and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freed him of this and the whale or the fish whatever it was it ejected him out whole onto land and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided food for him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided uh, nourishment for him but this is how it happened so <clears throat> Sayyidina Yunus wasalam, what he thought from his own angle and understanding what he considered a sin for that he had to go through this phase of staying in the uh, the the stomach of a fish but as a Mufassir has said that's not the case that he did not fulfill his responsibility as a prophet none of that is true may Allah protect us from all 
derangement. <coughs> so when these people, Allah SWT is saying that, this is the example of Yunus Alayhi his people is there for you, that when they brought faith, when they saw the azab, they brought faith, they, Lama Amanu, they brought faith, Kashafna Anhum, Adab Al Khizi, Allah SWT took away, Allah SWT removed from them a punishment of humility, Fil Hayati Dunya, Allah SWT let them free in this worldly life, Wa Matana Hu Ilahin, and let them enjoy themselves until a certain time. <coughs> How much time? Eleven. Okay. Abba, I tawabal minna inna kanta samiyul alim, wa tawali na inna kanta tawab rahim. Allahumma jalla min ahli al-Quran al-ladhi ahlu ka wa Rabbana la tuzik qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hablana min ladunka rahma inna kanta al-wahha wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqihi sayyidina wa lana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa jmahin amin wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatull